but let's take FTX. Sam Bankman Fried, multi billionaire. How's he spending his time? Getting kids to gamble. What? Hold on, Richard. Wait a second. You did not just say that funds the Democratic Party for millions of dollars, Jewish, Sam Bankman Fried, is actually enslaving kids to gambling? You, you didn't say that, because that would be silly, right? And he did just give 50 grand to the Sense Foundation, which I just raised 27 million for. Vitalik gave 4 million to, plus 50 grand, plus 4 million in 2017. So Vitalik's like, Vitalik was the grand hero before I convinced people to do what they wanted to do anyway. So the real heroes are the people that gave the money, right? So the people that actually gave the 27.5 million so far, I consider those the real heroes. The fact that I was able to help them want to do that, I'm just kind of, I'm still gonna take credit for it because I wanna create more people that are jealous to, to compete in that area. So if I, so, so Sam Beckman Fried, why do I mention it? And by the way, do you think it's smart to talk trash about all the exchanges? Probably not smart to do that. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not in cryptocurrency to be a little girl and beg. I'm in cryptocurrency for freedom. And so I'm going to speak the truth. And if you don't like the truth, you're not going to like me. So Sam Backman Freed, FTX. Where do they bought advertisements? E-gaming. Various uh, e-gaming things. All right. And who watches e-gaming? Kids. And when they're old enough, what are they going to do? Margin trade. And how's that going to affect their life? It's going to be the worst thing that ever happened to them. So if you thought your risk of dying of suicide was really high in your 20s, because I think it's actually the most likely thing to kill you in your 20s is yourself, wait till you throw margin trading in the mix. See how that goes.